Guys, I am super pumped. We have concrete countertops in the cabin. Guys, check this out. Look at all that. That's that hog that I shot and Dale skinned up. And then this big old brisket is what Jason got. That nail guy brisket. Oh, man. Yeah. Woo Looking good. What do you got uh, this thing going on here? Just propane? Yeah, this one's propane with, uh, I put some wood in the bottom. For the smoke it's both a propane or charcoal either one so dang son you excited about testing the smoker out i am it'd be the first time you i know you are <laughs> guys so we are going to kind of take a day off um if you want to call it that we are going to uh cook up this meat i think we're going to make some jalapeno poppers and then we are going live a little bit later on her channel for the first time. So super, super excited. Um, you will be seeing this late though. We'd already have gone live. So if you didn't get to watch it live, we'll link it down below and go watch it. I'm sure we're gonna get into some trouble. <laughs> Probably. What are you doing? Making jalapeno poppers. Dang. What are you gonna put in them? Some cream cheese some Fiesta Blend cheese and Dove wrapped in bacon. So my mom, I was showing my dad how to edit some videos and my mom came in and was like, I thought you were gonna put bacon on the brisket. Boom, so you had to go get the brisket and put some bacon on it. Got that bacon going on there. All right. This isn't as good a bacon as normal, but it's got a lot of fat. So this is gonna be good on this. Here. Bacon's good either way. Bacon fat rules. Well, I already cut it up. Got the dove. Yeah, buddy. Some of them have like a long strip of dove, and others have little tiny pieces. Well, not tiny, but I cut them up. So I'm not a huge fan of jalapeno poppers, but I'll try it. That's pretty good. Anything with bacon, though, is good been smoking for a while. Clear out some of that smoke. Yeah, buddy. Got my, uh, my mitten. Good looking leg right there. I don't know about this brisket. It's got bacon on it. Looks like it might have a little bit longer. Maybe a little longer. Well we already uh well we already took out all the brisket. That's dad's plate. Look at that mashed potato or mashed potatoes. Look at that potato salad mom made. She got a video on that. Jaylena's plate halfway eaten. Mom's plate. Yummy. And then my plate. Yeah, buddy. That's what a man's plate looks like. Alright guys, so we just got done eating. It was awesome. We are setting up. We're gonna go live. So you can check that video out. Uh, we'll leave that link down below if you missed it. But we're gonna go live. And then uh, I think we're probably going to call it an early night. And we got some stuff to do tomorrow. So we'll see you in the morning. So, what are the green peppers that you guys have? The sweet ones that we've got right now. This is cayenne. And that's cayenne as well. There you go. Thank you. We're down for the spice. All right, good. Good. That one's really good too. You want to try the rice, but you probably is the best seller.
the um, Mongo Habanero, uh, grained over cream cheese and crack. I'll try the all right, so we're just leaving the farmer's market in Kingsville. It was pretty good. Jaylena came out like a bandit. And that's not even, we already got stuff in the truck, so good day in Kingsville. All right, we are back out at the ranch. Um, I have not gone in and checked the uh, concrete countertop, so I'm going to go check that out. But guys, we got some cool shirts made. Check this out. And uh, it's got something on the back, too. I'll show you here in a minute. But let's go check on uh, the countertop and uh, see how that's going so far. So the countertop definitely looks dry. I don't know how well it's dried all the way through, but this is looking pretty good. Uh, so let's go ahead and take this wood frame off. Let's go ahead and try to knock this off. Oh, that was easier than I thought. So that's a good sign it didn't stick. Let's see if we can knock this off. All right. That makes me happy. That's a nice smooth line right there. So I think it's dried all the way through. It looks like it. Um, I know a lot of you are asking, how in the world am I going to get this smooth on top? Well, my plan is to flip this thing over. To pull it out, I'm hoping it won't get stuck to the bottom since it was a slick material. And I can flip this whole piece over and stick it on. That's the plan if we could do it without breaking. Let's find out if I can even move it at all. I may have to go get Jaylena. I think I might try to stick something in here to kind of wedge it up a little bit. Hopefully it won't be stuck. Maybe this machete might be able to uh, get under there. Let's see. Without damaging it. Yeah, it's lifting. That's a pretty good sign. It's just heavy. But this is going under, which is really good. Yeah, it's just heavy. So I'm going to see if I can't lift it up, kind of block it, and pull it out a little bit, and see if we can't flip it over. And if my calculation's correct, the bottom should be really smooth since it was on this countertop, hopefully. Fingers crossed. So let's see if I can even lift this up at all. All right, guys, I am just drenched in sweat again already. But check this out. I think this came out pretty good. Look, I'm going to put some of this sweat on here to show you. Look at that, guys. That is smooth. Smoother than a baby's bottom. There are a few little imperfections, little holes. I didn't get all the bubbles out, but that's okay. This line right here is where the tape went, which isn't a big deal. I expected that. It kind of goes around, gives it a little border. Uh, I'm going to try to get rid of that anyways. And then down in here, um, there's a little bit of imperfections and stuff. So my first thought is it came out pretty freaking awesome for six bucks. My second thought is I should have asked Jan Lee to help me move it because it cracked. Unfortunately, but I'm really not that bummed about it to be completely honest because I was already expecting to have to come in and fill in all the little holes and imperfections. So I'm going to get a real thin coat and kind of just fill in all the little uh, imperfections and then I'll just do it over this crack because this isn't going to move anywhere. It's not going to go anywhere. Um, it's going to stay here. This is just a hunting cabin so it's not like it's going to get used every single day. And even if, even if it does get used all the time, who cares if it's cracked? It's a freaking hunting cabin. So I am really excited with this. I think it came out great. Um, I'm going to possibly let Jaylena put a resin coat on this. We'll think about it. But with the resin coat, look at this. Sweat. You'll get the cool color like that, the really good cement color. Or we could throw some color into the uh, 
clear coat or whatever the resin put it on. I don't know. We'll think about that as we go. So six bucks, guys. Six dollars. And we got a concrete countertop, which is going to look way better than this. Original, old school, new countertops. So I'm already loving the idea of it. The green up here, the uh, concrete countertops, and I gotta do something on the bottom. So my next question is, do I keep these open? I thought about it when I first did it and I was like, that actually looks pretty legit with no doors on it. My second thought was, well, we do have mice that come in the cabin, which we're gonna try to rat proof this place anyways. And, uh, you know, try to maintain it as best we can here. So, I think mice can get in there no matter what. There's a door or not. They can figure it out. But I'm thinking maybe we can just use all this for um, dishes and seasonings and stuff like that that are already in like containers, like glass containers that mice aren't going to get to anyways. And leave that open. And then maybe over here, I could build like some uh, drawers and stuff down here that I could put everything else that I need that uh, can kind of make it more rat and mice proof over here. But so far, I'm absolutely digging this. I have an idea for the uh, doors if I do want to put them back on. But if not, I'll do it down there on uh, the bottom. So I'm going to think on this and uh, figure out what I'm going to do exactly. I am going to go, like I said, put another thin coat and cover up this crack and whatnot and try to uh, cover any of these imperfections. And then I'll go back and polish it down. But guys six bucks this is my first time ever trying it i'm good with it all right so i'm not going to do any more work on the inside in there but i want to talk about these shirts real quick guys check this out the crockers look at this pretty freaking awesome huh we got them made there is a local little small business here it's a girl that i actually went to school with and she started this up a few years ago and i saw that she is posting stuff a long time ago but i didn't think about it and then the other day it popped up on facebook and i was like i need you to make me a few shirts and so i told her i said i want to make a few and then we're actually getting some stickers made for our truck they're probably gonna be about this big and they'll have the youtube logo instead of the crockers but what i'm thinking is and i think it'd be really freaking awesome is if we made a package deal for you guys you can get a shirt like this that says you know watch join the family, watch YouTube, all that stuff, and then get a sticker that's probably about this big or so that you can slap on whatever you want, your car, uh, a guitar, uh, someone else's car, I don't know, your laptop, I don't know. It'd just be a cool little sticker that you can have that just has the crockers on it, and then a koozie, and I'm thinking maybe like camo koozie, or we'll do like um, different colors, I don't know, we'll figure it out what color koozie, but to get a package deal like that of a shirt, a koozie and a sticker and I want to do this for the first time um, you guys know that we did shirts on Teespring a while back I want to help a small business and a local business down here where we're at and so I was thinking of doing rock bottom prices where we make zero dollars for this first run and so um, we want all of you to be able to have a shirt so I don't know exactly how much it would be but I'm thinking around thirty dollars shipped to you Maybe I got to check out shipping and all that, but I think roughly 30 bucks for a shirt a sticker and a koozie shipped to you So that's a pretty good deal and I was thinking if it is $30 We'll add on another $5 so $35 But the extra $5 will put into another pot over here So every time someone buys a package for 35 bucks We'll take $5 out and put it over here and of all the packages we buy It'll be, say we get 20 packages that we sell, so 20 times five, we'll have that money over here to buy packages for people that can't afford it. So I know some of you are on a really fixed income and you know, Jaylene and I really don't have a ton of money to be buying a bunch of free stuff to give out, but I figured for $35, you can get a shirt, a sticker, and a koozie. That's pretty much cheaper than just a shirt that we were uh, selling on Teespring. And so this would help us promote us. This would help a local business um, for a girl that we know. And then this would help people that can't really afford it to get some stuff as well. So I thought it'd be a cool way just to help everybody. Um, 
So maybe, this is not set in stone, so maybe if you're interested, please comment down below. We'll have to do a pre-order, and the more we buy, the cheaper the price, and that's just how it works. And so I want to help grow this girl's business. She's been doing it for a while, but why not let the Crockers help? And you guys, you guys are the Crockers as well. So let us know down below. This is not set in stone. I just thought it'd be a cool idea. We really wanted shirts for ourselves, and we figured, well, we don't want to hold these out on you guys. We want to share the love. So if, if you like this idea, please comment down below and uh, let us know your thoughts on that. But it was um, LNA Vinyl Designs. Um, I will add a Facebook link or something down in the description. You can check it out, her, her Facebook page and all that. And if you're interested in your own stuff, please send her a message and say, the Crocker sent me over. And... Uh, she was awesome. She made this shirt super fast. The quality is great. It's vinyl. It's not printed, not screen printed, but it's vinyl. And she has a printer that actually can print logos and stuff. So don't hesitate to hit her up. So we'll put that down in the uh, description. But guys, it's raining. It's been raining. It's not raining at the moment, but it's been raining today. Uh, you guys saw that we went to my parents' house, we went live, and then we went to Kingsville, went to the farmer's market. Guys, we had a blast. It was so much fun. Um, we enjoy it. We bought a few things. We're going to show them off in our videos later and do like a review on some of the stuff. Um, but we really want to start promoting local small businesses. And so you guys know how it is on the Crocker family group that we have. We're always saying, support Sunday. Let's support each other. What's your business? What's your friend's business? And we want to stand behind that. So we want to try to get local businesses down in the Rivera and Kingsville area and surrounding areas and really promote them because that's my hometown. And I personally really want to support those people. So guys, thank you so much for watching today. I'm gonna do a lot more work tomorrow. It's just, as you can tell, I'm still out here and I'm sweating. It's so humid today. I cannot be in that house. I forgot to buy a fan, so I'm probably going to run into town buy a fan tomorrow so I don't die in there. But we're going to do a lot more stuff on the uh, kitchen tomorrow, so please stick around. Did you think the countertops were going to come out as good as they did? I know some of you are going to say I should have put rebar and wire in there. I know. But what do you think of the countertops? What do you think of the shirt design? What do you think of my mom going live? Oh, I, just so much happening. I'm such a happy person because of you guys. Thank you so much. And as always, thank you to WeBoost for giving us 4G service out here. If you need a cell phone booster, please go down in the description. They can hook you up with that. They hooked us up. And love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. See ya tomorrow.